Hey everyone, welcome back to LoFi Startup. Thanks for sticking around. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can use retool vectors to give context to large language models within your own retool apps. I'm a big fan of retool because you can build software incredibly fast for a bunch of different use cases. So I'll probably make quite a few videos on retool. But yeah, let's see how this one goes. We'll take it from there. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually set up a vector on retool. Basically, the problem that I have is I have a bunch of these raw strings, which are like descriptions of products and things. So what I've done now is basically, I've just exported this data as a TXT file. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to retool. Under resources, what you'll see is this retool vector section. Inside here, we're gonna create a new vector. I'm just gonna call this vector test vector one. You can either crawl through a website or you can just make the vector as a bunch of files that you upload. So I'm gonna go for the file option, create. So now I've set up the vector. Now within the vector, you can actually add multiple files. These can go in either as a file, like a PDF, or you can just throw in plain text. So in this case, I'm gonna throw in that text from that string list from earlier. Just gonna grab all of this. And for the context, I'm gonna stick in just all of the string data. Then you just give it a name. I'm gonna say test doc one, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that. So now we're adding all that string data as context to this vector. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna be using a retool query within a demo app that I'm making. I'm actually gonna connect the vector to this query uh, to give an LLM some context and do some things with the data. Let's see. I've got this retool app open. This is just a demo app I created, really simple UI with just a text input button and a table. Now what we have on the left hand side is obviously our query builder. What I've done here is just created a new query and I've called that query get predictions. What I'm trying to do with this query is given that vector data that we saw earlier, which is just a bunch of strings, what I'm trying to do is set a target keyword. So for example, Cadbury, this is a chocolate. Within the test data, there's a bunch of raw descriptions that either have the word Cadbury in it as a straight up match or an abbreviated or sort of abstract version of the word. I wanna build something that's sort of an advanced search where I can search strings by a target keyword but find matches according to abbreviations or abstract sort of versions of the target. In my retool query over here, firstly, what you gotta do is just set your resource to retool AI. And when you do that, you're able to actually access GPT models um, as part of your query. The next thing I did was I just set the action to generate text. What I did for the input or the prompt was I basically just told the AI that it has to go and find matches according to the target keyword. And these matches need to be either a direct match or an abstract or abbreviated version of the match. The other thing I had to do was I had to kind of force the LLM to return the response as an array. So what I did here was in the actual prompt itself, I just said, don't include any other text as part of the result, just a raw array of objects. And each object must have two fields, the target, which is the original target string, vocabulary, and then prediction. And then I just said, if there are no results, return an empty array only and no text. So you really gotta be quite specific with the prompt because otherwise you can't convert the response into an interpretable array for retool. So now what we need to do is we need to actually add that vector to the query to provide more context to the query. So what you do is you just head over to this checkbox over here where it says use retool vectors to provide more context, select that, then search for that vector. So in this case, we're gonna go and select that vector we made earlier, which was the test vector one. And now what it's gonna do is every document that's within test vector one, it's gonna use as context. So if you remember, we added that test doc one, uh, which is the only document. Bear in mind, you can add as many things as you want here. I'm pretty sure. Maybe there are limits, but let's pretend they aren't. Yeah, you basically just set that up here and we're gonna click save. Because the GPT model just returns the data as a string, I actually had to go and pass that data as JSON because even though it looks like an object or it's pretending to be an object, it's not an actual JSON object. So we need to go ahead and map that JSON here so that retool can actually interpret that JSON and map it to this table. Okay, so let's see how this thing performs. Right, so given our target input of Cadbury, I'm gonna go ahead and run get suggestions. Now that button's running this query and it's gonna output what it thinks some of the potential matches are for the target Cadbury. And here we go. So as you can see, it's gone ahead and 
obviously done a bunch of straight up matches to Cadbury, but it's also gone and interpreted these strings as well, which is a sort of abbreviated version of the word, which makes sense. I'm assuming that's Cadbury cashew, that's Cadbury dairy milk. Yeah, it's actually gone ahead and found those matches, which is pretty cool. So as you can see with this problem that I had, I was able to whip up a pretty quick solution with retool vectors, simple UI, and the built-in GPT query builder as part of Retool, so pretty awesome outcome. Thanks for watching, hope it was fun. Probably do some more engineering style videos, kind of like the Retool one that I just did. And if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. That would be very helpful. Yeah, I'll see you guys next week.